As the kids and I are wandering around looking for interesting Mississippi stories to share with you, we occasionally stumble upon one that we've never heard of before. This is one of those times, and it ranks up there for me as one of the saddest stories we've come across. If you've traveled the highway between New Albany, Mississippi, and Blue Mountain, you've passed by this grave many times, just like I have, and didn't really even understand what it was. The story I found came from a Facebook post and a book entitled The Ripley Railroad by Herbert Murdoch. The Frenchman's story starts with Colonel William C. Faulkner, yes, the great-grandfather of one of my favorite authors, was pushing the construction of the Gulf and Ship Island Railroad in the late 1880s. He used convict labor from the Mississippi State Penitentiary to do the incredibly hard and difficult work. During the time the workers were laying the section of track between Ripley and Pontotoc, Mississippi, Colonel Faulkner had leased 375 prisoners to help with the construction. And local folk tales and lore say that many of the prisoners died of gross mistreatment at the hands of trigger-happy guards. These unlucky convicts were buried wherever they fell in unmarked graves which can be found along the railroad's right-of-way. Some say the entire stretch of railroad is an unmarked burial ground. The only marked grave along this section of tracks is the unknown Frenchman's grave. For many years, this grave was enclosed by a four-sided picket fence. Each successive owner of the Gulf and Ship Island Railroad, which of course later became the GM&O, have been required to maintain the grave site in perpetuity because of a contractual decree with Colonel Faulkner. The wooden fence was later replaced by the welded steel enclosure that maybe you've seen here in this video. I have driven by that welded steel enclosure way more than once and kind of wondered what it was but gave no real thought to the story because there was no sign or anything to indicate what was enclosed there. In 2010, a local named Tommy Covington put up the sign and the lattice work that you've seen in this video. Legend has it that the Frenchman was visiting Mississippi and was arrested and convicted of a crime that he didn't commit. His legal defense was hampered by the fact that he did not speak English, and he found himself serving as part of a chain gang that consisted of mostly African Americans. At some point, he received word that his wife was close to the point of death. Incredibly desperate to get back home to her, he made an attempt to escape. He was shot by a guard. Nobody seems to know for certain, but State Penitentiary Record number 547 tells us that a Frank Smith was born in France and was sentenced in Warren County, which is around Vicksburg, to a sentence of three years for grand larceny. He was shot on July the 14th, 1886, while trying to escape from a railroad construction crew, and he died on July the 31st. Obviously, Frank Smith was probably not his real name, and for me, that's one of the most sad parts of this story. The courts did not even bother to figure out who he really was. If he was wounded and did not die for two weeks, why was he buried in this location? The author of the story I read says that perhaps Colonel Faulkner had formed a relationship with the Frenchman during the final days of his life. The colonel had toured France rather extensively in his travels. Faulkner did see to it that the Frenchman's gravesite would be marked and protected forever. Locals will also tell you that on some dark nights, you can park near the Frenchman's grave and shine your lights in that direction, and you can see the poor soul walking down the railroad tracks towards you. They say all these years later, he is still trying to get back to his dying wife. Apparently, his ghost is only visible to couples in love. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the Frenchman today, and if you're ever up in his part of the world, stop by and pay your respects. 
Thank you.